Hey y'all, what's up? For today's video, we're going to be reviewing John Legend's new product line. I'm so thankful for the opportunity of being one of the nail techs that received a PR box from them. With that being said, we will be reviewing all of the products. And you guys know I always like to keep it real. So if something isn't good, I'm never going to hype it up. So let's get into it. I am doing this pop-off set on my niece. So there was no prep, just two layers of matte top coat to make sure that they pop off easily my Kiara Sky non-C curve square tips along with their glue and I am dipping them into the monomer just to get them to adhere a lot faster. I'm going to cut them down to a shorter length and then I'm going to create that C curve at the free edge. I'm not going to prep the natural nail by blending the nail tip into it because this is a pop pop set. So once I'm done with all that I'm going to get into my acrylic application and the acrylic that I'm using is called Signature Color. It's honestly such a pretty milky white. I was also sent their size 10 Kalinsky brush, which was super nice. I'm going to pop up a video of what it looks like right here. So you guys can see the detail and how nice it is. I wish they would have sent me a bigger size because since it was a size 10 and I used a size 18, I couldn't really function with it. So I will be using my regular brush for this video. The first bead I picked up dried way too quickly, but I believe it was my room temperature. I literally got the products and got straight into working with it. So it was really really hot in my area so I ended up taking that bead off and restarting so when I restarted it was going on like butter so I'm convinced it was my room temperature I will be trying the acrylics out once again the proper way and then I can actually get into how I feel about the acrylics but as of now I stand by what I'm saying it is a little more fast setting but I actually really enjoyed it since I do work a lot faster it was pretty convenient I'm gonna let you guys watch the application and I'll be back once we're on our next step
my shaping of course i'm using my 60 by 60 hand files and once that's done i'm gonna go in with my fine drill bit to clean up underneath the free edge around the cuticle and over the entire surface of the nail <laughs>
For the design, we decided to do a tie-dye type of look using blooming gel. The blooming gel that I'm using is from Creations. I'm also going to use my dotting tool to apply the colors in a swirl type of pattern. Also using some of the gel polishes from his line. And okay, listen, it's really hard for me to actually say I like gel polishes because sometimes it's a hit or miss. But all of these colors that were sent to me were so pigmented. And I know you're probably thinking you're doing a blooming gel design. How would you know if they're pigmented? But I literally swatched every color as soon as I got them and I fell in love with them. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend if you haven't already snatched these up. They're super good. With that being said, all of the colors that I'm using are going to be linked in the description box below if you guys are interested. Honestly, the point of this set was to use most of the colors, but the middle finger is my favorite. And I wish I would have done them all that color. Also, I feel like the camera is washing out the colors because all of them pop out so much more in person. Once we finished with the design, I ended up going in with some matte top coat and we called it a day. But thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.